Good morning, world. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? And popped up here. Lists. Got all my uh, orders pulled for from the weekend, which is not as many as I uh, had hoped. But uh, good morning, Adam. First, ADDG. L Max, good morning, everyone. Hope everyone had a good weekend. E M E M M Danny, good morning. And this shirt draws the fuzz like crazy. Oh, Piper John, Karen Henderson, good morning. Super chat it, Karen Henderson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gina, good morning. Reseller Rockefeller, good morning. Absolutely, reseller. Got to get those weekend orders all packaged up and ready to go. Mo flips. Thanks for popping in, Piper John. Absolutely, one hundred percent. The thing I was going to talk about. Well, part of it's my fault, but even I've talked to other uh, YouTubers and flippers and stuff, and even with them listing, they still have been slow. I didn't list last week because partly because I was sick for three days, and I'm I'm feeling better now. We actually went thrifting yesterday. And uh, I didn't list anything, so my sales were not good at all. Like, one day I didn't sell anything. I think it was Thursday or Friday. Not a single thing, which rarely, rarely happens. But uh, the other days were only about 100 bucks a day, which is not good at all. Not good. But anyway, that's partly my fault. Diane Matthews, good morning. Uh, Michelle, good morning, Michelle. Thanks for popping in. Uh, reseller rock. Let me see if I have your name down here. Reseller Rockefeller. I don't think I do. That's okay. Reseller Rockefeller just finished packing eight of the hard, hardest odd shaped items. <laughs> one being a small organ. Whoa. That's awesome though. I've always thought that in my own mind, like, well, if I had the room, I would do the more difficult stuff because people tend to shy away from the stuff because it's difficult, whether it's the storage space or how to pack it, how to ship it, how to list it, you know, uh, doing the hard thing is, a, uh, yeah, sometimes lucrative. And Danny, I've seen some threads about people freaking out about the new shipping costs before I get started. Yeah, Danny, it's still worth it people overreact to everything is it more expensive yeah but if you do free shipping you need to re you should have already raised your prices because everyone knew this was coming for a long time and two if you do calculated it's just going to get passed on to the to the buyer anyway so yeah people overreact i mean it's kind of a stinker because you know first class like coast to coast used to be you know, a set rate and now it's broken up into regions and all this stuff. Like it's a buck more for coast to coast at a, like a 13 ounce rate or whatever, but, uh, it happens. It's the way of the world. Everything goes up, you know, good morning, Monty. How's it going this morning in Texas? Absolutely. Resell a Rockefeller. He says selling large items is stressful, but can be very profitable if you buy the right items, 100%. And I used to do that a lot when I owned my, uh, retail stores back in Missouri. I would buy the, you know, what out of big stuff, furniture, big stuff that people didn't want to deal with. Yeah. I made a ton of money off that stuff. Good morning, Steve. How's it going this morning? Can't believe you don't have a ranch, Steve. We'll take care of that right now. Now you do. Maniac picker. Good morning. Good morning. Mike, Mike, the maniac picker. Uh, the word like simpatico there. I'm Mike. I, I'm a maniac picker as well, but uh, <laughs> that's your name. Yep. Piper John. And I would do, if I wasn't space constrained, I would buy so much more stuff, you know, like if I had a warehouse space, but uh, where I've talked about this in other uh, live videos, warehouse, not to mention retail space, but where even warehouse space, which is usually like, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 percent the cost of you know storefront retail storefront space where warehouse space in northern virginia is absolutely bonkers the cost of it i mean even storage units is is, is absolutely insane so i avoid it 
<laughs> I don't do it. Uh, let me see here. And Monty, I ordered my uh, sweater shaver after you posted it from your link. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Monty. I, I, you know, I, I've logged into my affiliate account and I saw someone had bought one and I didn't know if it was you or Anissa because Anissa said she's going to buy one as well. And if she does, that's great. If she doesn't, that's fine too. There was some issue with the link as well. Like she was using her, uh, her mother's prime account or something. So good morning, Gina. Yeah, Steve, I watched your, your scat IQ video as well. And I, and I enjoyed that. Um, uh, cause I, had, I, I've, I just used the uh, Amazon seller app, you know, I haven't taken the plunge yet on scout IQ, but I wanted to know more about it. I actually, <clears throat> excuse me. I still got a little bit of drainage going on here, but, uh, but I feel fine. I feel good. Um, I took Scott's advice when I, when I talked to him last week or the week before about the scanners and he said not to go for one of the expensive scanners, just get one of the 30 or $40 cheap scanners off Amazon or I'm off of eBay. And that's what I ordered one of those. And when that comes in, I may, uh, activate an, uh, a scout IQ account and see where that goes. If I have time for it. <laughs> uh, yep. Reseller Rockefeller. I charge for my shipping. If the postal service goes up, my shipping cost goes up. Now nah, I'm the same way, you know, good morning on this. Uh, how you doing this morning? Yep. I've, I've got all my orders, pull, all of them, all six of them, <laughs> all six of my orders pulled and, uh, yeah, ready to go. Let me see here. Piper John always calculated. I'll do free shipping occasionally as a discount. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If I take a best offer, I take in, you know, the shipping and the consideration and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Anissa. No problem at all. No problem. And I appreciate you doing that. You're welcome, Steve. And I'm sure I don't have any subscribers that, uh, aren't already subscribed to Steve, but go and, you know, you can, somebody can link his channel if you want to go and subscribe to Steve. He's a really good dude. Uh, let me see here. Yep. Monty charges. He's a calculated shipper as well. Uh, reseller Rockefeller resellers make this huge mistake all the time. Renting huge warehouses and spaces without correct scale of business and lose money. Absolutely. 100%. Like I know the numbers I do just in this little space here, this, what you see is what I have plus a little one car garage. And, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing what I want to be doing, but it, I'm growing it every year. Cause right now I'm in this year, I'm in the phase of increasing my margins. Like my, uh, my average, uh, sale price per item is going to go up drastically this year. And that's the phase I'm in this year. So, yep. After this year, we'll see where we're at. Absolutely. Monty. Absolutely. Six is better than zero. Cause it could have been, cause like I said, I didn't list anything last week. Zero. I failed John, the Cincinnati pickers listing challenge for sure. Every day. <laughs> That's awesome, John. That's a, I don't know if it was the, that IOIO or whatever, but it was something that cost 35 bucks off of eBay. I'm sure it's the same type of Chinese scanner, you know, and Scott says they work fine. I'm going to give it a shot. I'd rather spend the $30 than $200, you know, Danny, speaking of Scott, why are all these people freaking out about him? Shane and that other guy with the annoying voice are charging for a patron account. I don't know, Danny. I didn't see that one. I must've missed that one. I have a Patreon account, but I mean, I only have two patrons, but, uh, I have no problem with, uh, content creators having patrons. I don't really understand why people would be mad about that. The vintage fiend. Yes, I do calculated shipping. I, I played with free shipping, like through the holiday season. And it seems more often than not, it, it was people in California, in Texas, in far away the buying my stuff if i did free shipping so it would cost me an arm and a leg so calculated from here on out free returns though free returns calculated on the way out good morning james how are you doing this morning thank you for popping in <laughs> and this, uh, who, i was wondering that too and this who is the guy with the annoying voice <laughs> oh thanks piper john piper john uh linked steve alcorn's channel if you're not subscribed pop over and give him a sub 
uh, reseller Rockefeller, it looks like you have good organization. You're utilizing your space well. We try. I, and what you can't see, well, maybe you can a little bit, is I have two big overhead racks, two full of stuff I got from Costco. So I try to utilize every inch available. And I have to, if I want to do the numbers that I want to do, you know, I have to, space utilization is important. And that that's my theme this year, because at the beginning I was kind of disorganized. And this year I'm being super organized. Uh, uh, me and my wife on Saturday spent all day Saturday inventorying and we still didn't get everything done. I underestimated the time that would take. I thought I could get it done on Saturday, but we still have to do coffee mugs and games and puzzles left to go. But everything else has been inventoried. And inventory is important for a couple reasons. The main reason is uh, to assess your items. It gives you the ability to assess your items, you know, what you have them at, how long you've had them, if you need to change the price or change the pictures. We've done, we did that a lot. That's what took so long. But another reason is I found about 25 items that were just in the hard goods. That doesn't count the soft goods because I found some stuff in soft goods that were just gone, that were just not listed anymore. And we don't have no idea why because I remember listing them. I know I'm getting old, but I'm not that old. I remember listing them and I didn't save them as drafts or anything. These were listed, you know, and uh, so a total between soft goods and hard goods of about 35 or 40 items that were just sitting in bins, not listed. So inventory is important, you know. Good morning, Craig. Thanks for popping in, Craig. Appreciate it a lot. Let me see here. Steve, he, Steve also works out of a small area. His office is about 200 square feet and the storage area is about 400. So yeah, proof it can be done, right, Steve? And that's what Craig has as well. That cheap scanner on eBay. Uh, yep. Uh, mine, I think ship. So I'll probably get it sometime this week. I'm, uh, I'm going to see if I have time to do any, uh, maybe take one day a week, maybe to start doing some RA, but, uh, see if I can fit that in. Uh, reseller Rockefeller. If you sell anything other than clothing, then you should charge for shipping. Yeah. Absolutely. And I even charge shipping on my clothing. Um, you know, so good morning, Don. two hip chicks. Thanks for popping in. Nitty gritty picker. I love that name. It's like the nitty gritty dirt band. Maybe because one of them guys preached he would never charge for the content. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've never said that. <laughs> And I mean, it is always free. It's like, I don't charge anyone to come in, but I do super appreciate super chats and if, if patrons, you know, I mean, that's great. You know, uh, oh, but on that note, I, I've, I've started to do this and I'm going to keep on doing it. Every live chat, I'm going to show who my phone's almost dead. <laughs> got to plug in my phone. I show my YouTube account and the numbers on them. I'm going to do that right now since we've got on that topic. After the weekend, my views are always down because you know, it's just the way it is. I haven't posted anything in two days. It's kind of like eBay. YouTube's kind of like eBay. If you post, you get eyeballs, uh, just like eBay. So, um, here's my overview. Last 28 days, 206,270 watch minutes, uh, of 15,526 views. You can see that. Average uh, view duration, 13 minutes, 17 seconds. Uh, revenue the last 28 days is $71.07. And it's running fairly consistently, like 50-50 of that, that is ad revenue. And 50% of that is ad revenue. 50% of that is super chat. Of you awesome people giving super chats. Uh, 237 new subscribers the past 28 days. Uh, 68.1% of, of watch time has been subscribers. 30.7% not subscribed of my watch time. 97.5% likes versus dislikes. And the top video of the last 28 days has been episode 68, uh, sold video with 14,066 watch minutes. And that's that. Okay. Let me see here. Sorry if I missed anything. I was on my Hangouts page so I could see the phone. Uh, I'm scrolling back up here. 
uh, L does calculate and free returns. That's what I do as well. Did two this morning, UPS padded flat rate, both 15.5 ounce pirate ship costs 755 per item. So that's up from what, 680. So that's what, 75 cents difference. I saw somebody post on one of the Facebook groups that even pirate ship is on some things is more expensive than eBay. So we have to be careful with that. I'll have to look, look at, look at that closer. Danny EMM, do you experience a higher viscosity or I'm sure you meant velocity of returns by advertising free returns? No, I have not. Uh, it's just, and I sell a lot of clothes too. I had one clothing return last week. Well, actually I had two actually, but one of them, the guy messed up. This is crazy. Have you guys ever had this? A guy opened a return, sent the item to me. And then before I got the item, he mentioned me, goes, I messed up. I sent you the wrong shirt. I didn't even mean to return yours. He's like, I like your shirt. I meant to return this other shirt I bought. <laughs> uh, I'm like, that's all right, dude. At least he was honest about it, you know? So we're trying to work that out. I think I'm going to have him send me the return label for the real shirt. And I'll throw that in the mail for him. I think I talked about that last Friday, but it's funny. Uh, Steve. Absolutely, Steve. I, I'm looking forward to trying it out, you know? Yeah, Monty. I, I mean, it has to be. I don't know why things just fall off and disappear, but something happens. Andy, the parahead picker. Good morning, bud. Thank you for popping in. It is a Monday morning, so it's your day off. Jameson's closet. Good morning. Thanks for popping in. <clears throat> L, I think eBay does, has glitches. Uh, some some shipping things changed on me last week. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I got to pop up here. Steve Scott isn't charging for content. They're charging for one-on-one -on -one access. Yeah, absolutely. He's almost like a, uh, a consultant, you know, and I'd be the same way. I think I have a level on my Patreon. It's a high level, which I don't, <laughs> if I ever get to one of those high level Patreons, I know I've made it, but uh, I kind of have that on my own Patreon where if someone wants a uh, consultation on items one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, it's just basically wanting to be, you know, paid for your time, just like anyone would want to be. Uh, reseller Rockefeller offer free returns and honestly, I haven't seen any change in returns at all. Yeah, me either. Me either. Reseller Rockefeller, my channel isn't over a thousand subs, so I make nothing. Yeah, I was there for a long time. I started my YouTube channel in, uh, May of last year and I hit a thousand in late December because of, let me do the list, Andy, the prairie head picker. Uh, Justin RVA flips, John, the Cincinnati picker. And the big push was Scott, the bearded picker. I, Scott had me on his show with, I can't remember if, if Steve was on it that day or not. I think Steve was actually sick that day. It was not his shoulder. He was actually had the flu. So I filled in for Steve one day on Scott, the bearded picker show. And he really pushed my channel and I got about, he pushed me over a thousand. I went from 800 and something to like 1100 just from because of Scott. So I'll be forever grateful for that. Jameson's closet, uh, offers free returns as well. Uh, mostly sell clothes and return rate is 2.04%. Free returns have not changed how many returns it gets. Yep. And that has been my experience as well. Yeah. That's a good thing to point out. Reseller Rockefeller do not offer free returns on large bulk items like stereo receivers or the organ you shipped. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, uh, Steve hasn't had a return in the last 90 days. That's awesome. I wish I hadn't, but uh, I've had a few, but that's expected selling clothing. The Vintage Fiend, I had a buyer start a return on a kid's jersey and put the item as defective when they couldn't figure out how to put it. Didn't fit right. So now I have a defect for a defective. Oh man, that's frustrating. You know, I had, I've had a few of the issues like that with people that they just don't know how to use the site. Either they're not tech savvy or they're old and can't figure it out. L had one return. I'm waiting to come back. eBay refunded them immediately and put my PayPal in a negative. Uh oh, that's not good. Sorry about that. L pick and roll. Good morning. Thanks for popping in. Moronic pest free returns. Still give the seller the option of offering partial refunds. Yeah. That's the reason most of us do it. Yeah. Cause basically what they're saying is, if you offer free returns, if you get the item back and the customers damaged it, like I had that, if you all remember that Duluth trading company coat that they, uh, they hung in their wood house and it smelled like smoke and a dog slept on it. 
if back then I was offering free returns, I could have docked them up to 50% of the price for sending an item back, not in the condition, you know, that it was supposed to be in, which would have been a lot of money. That would have been, you know, over a hundred bucks. So, oh, thanks Andy. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. I just popped over 1400 subscribers. I don't know, a couple of days ago, a day ago. <laughs> I don't know. I've been so busy this past weekend. I haven't looked at it that much, but you know, I gain anywhere from four to 20 subscribers a day. It's weird how that happens. You know, one day I'll get three or four and the next day I'll get 20. You know, it's, it's weird. Andy does free returns on first class. Yep. Uh, more on the pest only had two returns all of last year, but you stay away from selling clothing and high return rate items. Yeah. And say, I mean, I'm probably 50% clothing, 50% other stuff and, uh, returns still aren't that bad, you know? So, I mean, I fully expect some of it, but it is what it is. All right, guys, uh, f only 40 watching. That's, uh, that's okay. Early Monday morning, uh, hit the thumbs up. If you got a chance, if you're not watching on your TV, like I do most of the time, uh, <laughs> Even on my, when I'm on my TV, I'll uh, have my laptop right there. I'm like, oh, I've, I got to go navigate over to this channel and give it a thumbs up, even I'm, if I'm watching on the TV. So, yeah, do that if you get a chance. L, mine was a brand new unopened cell phone. So now it's definitely coming back open and hoping it isn't a scammer. Oh, boy. It was a free ship item, too. I don't do free ship, but this item, it did. So it would sell. That's That's one of those situation you're like <laughs> i get it i get it the pick and roll uh sells clothing well over a, a thousand sales and not one return oh super lucky there man i mean call it luck or whatever but good descriptions and many good picks and details measurement yep and that's what we all try to do we all try to aspire to be as clear as possible like my return my one return last week was on a uh burberry coat that was it was like 125 dollar coat 150 something like that and uh had the size had the measurements you know had uh good pictures but they still returning it said it didn't fit <laughs> like so when you do all you can do and they still return it i mean it's just part of the game isn't it good morning dawn i got this by dawn we got two dawns thanks for popping in uh danny i mean it's <sighs> basically it's up to you really i'll let uh, it seems like reseller sells a lot of reseller rockefeller sells a lot of big and bulky items so they can chime in but um yeah it just varies i guess i mean i know there's a threshold of a size of a box that you go into oversized boxes and i can't remember what it is because i honestly don't do them i try to avoid big stuff because i don't have the storage space for it but maybe someone else can reseller rockefeller or somebody else can pop can pipe in on the comments and the help you out with that it's usually pretty big though like over 24 inches square or cubed on a box i think get you in that i think get you in that oversized category or at least that is that's what it is for amazon maybe that's what i'm thinking back when i did fba shipments i think a box could only be 24 inches maximum on each side but yeah <laughs> yeah and it all depends and stuff oh good morning ronnie ronnie hart heart pickers uh more money the item more chance of the price of clothing coming back had the same jacket come back twice and i sold her for 500 dollars both times isn't that crazy yeah i've sold the past month i've sold three burberry coats you know in that 150 200 range and luckily two of them have stuck and one return but is what it is oh thanks karen thank you for the thumbs up is, is it andy i can't i can't remember you know honestly yeah reseller rockefeller says it depends on the shipping service as well i'm sure ups fedex and postal service all has different criteria for their sizes and stuff for what's oversized and what's overweight yeah i know what some of them are 50 pounds some of them are 75 pounds or maybe even more yeah you know. 
Oh, resell the Rockefellers, Chad. I'm going to write that down. Sorry, man. Thought I had you on my list, but... Uh, reseller Rockefeller. Chad. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, authorized picker. Hey, what does selling lots on eBay do? Well, um, honestly, can say I haven't done it. Yeah, I'm assuming you're selling, say, talking about selling like lots of clothing or lots of hats or anything, but uh, I'm sure people have done it. It's just something I do not do because, you know, um, well, now that I'm thinking back on it, I did have a lot of like Christmas ornament stuff that weren't really weren't worth selling individually and uh, they haven't sold yet. So the couple of lots I have up haven't sold, but uh, I'm sure there's other people that have done it. I've considered it with some of the clothing I just don't want to mess with anymore, but uh, I'm just going to end up giving it to my sister and she gonna, she's going to list them individually. So Chad is hanging out packing orders, yep, just like the rest of us are about to do. It's a typical Monday morning, isn't it? Okay. All right, so usually I just sit here and talk and chat and stuff, but uh, I actually can pack up some stuff, I guess. Uh, reseller Rock Rockefeller says he sells lots of items. Often I do a lot of junk, drew lots. They do really well for me. That's good to know. You know, is it just random stuff, uh, Chad, or you just you try to like lot up like items, or is it just kind of random, just what you may have? Uh, Diane Matthew says lots of jewelry does well. On the flip side, I have bought lots of various things. Oh, that's cool. The Vintage Fiend finally bought a Dymo. Crazy amount of time it saves. Yes, absolutely. The Rolo and the Dymo 4XL are the way to go. One or the other, whichever one you want to use. They save so much time. And ink cost, you know, because they're thermal. So never run out of ink. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, good morning, John. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to mute the mic here real quick because I need to, need to blow my nose or something. Okay. That's a handy little feature of this microphone is being able to mute it. <laughs> I got to get a $40 bill back from Walmart for, oh, that's awesome. You returned some ink that, yeah, you didn't need because you got the uh, thermal. You're already uh, making money, aren't you? <laughs> we were just talking about that earlier, D. Um, thanks for popping in, D. Mays. Uh, I was talking about how Scott, the bearded picker, uh, recommended to me uh, personally not to spend, you know, a couple hundred dollars on a, scanner they they have ones on ebay for like 35 bucks and uh he says those are just perfectly fine so i think someone said earlier it was called like a io like e-y-o-y-o -O or something or something like that somebody can pipe in and say it but uh yeah they're only like 35 bucks on ebay free shipping so yeah and a lot of people that do fba a lot like steve alcorn uses that 35 dollar one he says it's just fine so yep it'll definitely because sometimes those printer inks like like uh he was saying the ink can cost you 40 bucks 80 bucks you know depending on what you have if you have a uh laser jet sometime a toner cartridge can be 100 bucks you know um and you can buy one of these thermal printers for 150 bucks so with what that ink one ink thing one or two inks are going to cost you can buy a thermal 
sometimes. I've been using this Dymo 4XL for, oh, two and a half years or so, and it's still going strong and use it every day. There you go. Pick and roll says the, that E yo, yo, I guess I'll call it is the $40 one. Now Opticon is 200, but, uh, like I said, the people that do this all the time say the, that $40 one is just as good as the $200 one. So it's up to you. It's really up to you. Okay. 46 watching 23 thumbs up. Thanks guys. You guys are awesome. Um, I don't have to plug in my phone when I get upstairs, but uh, I'm going to ship a few things. Haven't done that in a while. So I'm gonna raise these up. See what these new shipping rates are all about, you know? Ooh, I've got 14 pages up here. Find <laughs> okay. First thing I do is come over to Pirate Ship and import my orders. All right, and here we go. Move things around. I still got things stacked at work because uh, inventory is almost done. I'm still tinkering with everything. Just sold this item this morning, so well, I got one for the day. Go ahead and ship it out though. Of course. Even though I, you know, everything's inventoried and I had a label on this and I always still verify that it is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> That's how the uh, recipe for sending the wrong item to someone is uh, just trusting your uh, fallible human inventory system and uh, just sending it out without verifying. But it is the right item. This was a nice sale this morning too. Yep. Some other things that we've reduced prices on have uh, sold as well. Okay. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to check, you know, because of this, this postal service price increase, I'm going to check both eBay and pirate ship just to, you know, make sure just to make sure. because who knows the variables and what's going on. I'm using a, a poly bag and it's a 14 by 12 poly bag. And this doesn't weigh that much. It's probably over a pound. It's actually 15 ounces, I'm surprised. Okay. And this is one of those cases where, you know, I offer both first class and priority if an item calls for it. And this person paid for priority, so that's what they're going to get, you know. Priority mail on this is seven sixty five on pirate ship. Let's just check <clears throat> eBay to make sure. Oops. Calculate. Haven't done this one in a while on eBay. So, uh, seven forty-three on eBay. What did I say on Pirate Ship? It's actually cheaper on eBay. See, so there you go. Seven sixty-five on Pirate Ship. Seven forty-three on eBay. Twenty-two cent difference savings on eBay. So my, how things have changed. All right. So eBay, it is. Oh, you know what I need to do, though, since it is eBay? I need to transfer my PayPal money. Do that. For those who don't know, if you have a PayPal balance and you buy stuff on eBay, it'll just take the money out of your PayPal balance. But if you empty your PayPal account, it'll charge your backup funding source, which is my credit card. 
churn the points. I know most of you already know that, but you know, you never can tell who's new. I got a Mr. Hobbs talking to me. Yep, transfer this money. Okay, money transferred. All right, now let's buy the eBay label. Okay. And if this would have qualified for Cubic, you know, Pirate Ship would have told me that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, my uh, settings are... Okay, first one. My cat's back behind me knocking stuff off the, the desk. Let me see here. <laughs> Piper John, my cat's trying to find the other cat. Yeah. Well, Mr. Russia man, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know if I want to tell you, bro. Is this miss is Mr. Cap Mr. Cap's Russia man? Is it is it a troll? You you ranches keep on top of that while I ship, you know. Glenn, good morning, Glenn. How you doing? Uh, Moronic Pest said four ounces and less packages only went up two to ten cents in first class. So yeah. Hey Hobbs. Hey, he told you he was knocking stuff off. Luckily, it wasn't something breakable. Well, I hate to break it to you, man, but the rest of the war. Well, excuse me. If you're coming in here to cause trouble, man, Mr. Serbia, then just F off. You know, we don't need your call, your all caps and your BS. So just. Just get a life, you know. Thank you, Michelle. Freaking idiot. Nothing. I know. I realize there's nothing to do in Serbia, but come on, you know. <laughs> Good morning, Dad's Vintage Grod. Good morning, John. Thanks for popping in. Oh, yeah, Michelle. I'm just. I don't mind anyone, but yeah, just morons that come in and take over the chat with all caps with just BS nonsense. You know, I mean, anybody in the right mind, you look at that, that writing, it looks Russian, doesn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Sean. Uh, yeah. Sean says you're moving up the world to get your trolls now. Yeah, I guess it's part of it. <laughs> the vintage fiend, it's cold. I'd be mad too. Did you see that guy seen the forecast for Wednesday in, uh, I think it's minnesota or michigan i usually have people from minnesota in here but uh, like denise and lauren but on wednesday the wind chill in minnesota is supposed to be like 50 below the t actual temperature is supposed to be like 30 below and the wind chill 50 below it's just nuts good morning marco thanks for popping in all right so on to the next item negative 55 sean says that's just insane that's like you do not go outside unless you want your ears to break off <laughs> when we were in fargo when my wife was up there and we were there for, it was only like negative 15 or something and i was like nope i can't imagine negative 55 yeah negative 65 on windshield windshield in wisconsin yeah that the tuesday and wednesday in in the great lakes area is not going to be fun just crazy crazy stuff okay so on to the next item 
Uh, let me see here. Let's go back on pirate ship. Got another piece of clothing right here that it pulled. The six orders say four are hard good stuff and two are clothing, in case anyone wanted to know. This one would definitely be first class as well, but let me see what they requested. They requested priority mail as well, so it's going to go priority. I don't know. I mean, people, I guess, need stuff in a hurry, but, you know, it's fine with me if they pay for it, you know. Like, if I was doing free shipping, they would get the cheapest rate available, which would be first class. But uh, if they want priority, that's what they're going to get. Okay, so another poly mailer. Nine ounces, well, 10 ounces. Yeah, 10 ounces. So, let me see here. Pirate ship. Pirate ship for priority mail. 825. And let's go check eBay. Membership is 825. eBay is 801. So eBay is cheaper again by 24 cents. So yeah, something to check people. I mean, pretty much before this rate increase, pirate ship was the same, at least the same as eBay every time. And now eBay is uh, cheaper. It's not much, you know, it's 20 cents, 25 cents, but uh, 25 cents is 25 cents. Should see how excited I get when I find a cart on Aldi cart in the parking lot and return it for a quarter. <laughs> uh, not to say a quarter is nothing, but I enjoy free money. Who doesn't enjoy free money? All right, second one done. Let's see what you guys got going on. <laughs> you guys talking about the weather everywhere hawk good morning hawk thanks for popping in he said on pirate ship they have been displaying the best shipping option first usually it's priority mail check the drop yeah absolutely check the drop down box yep well, that's awesome chad i bet you it's fairly nice in florida i was i lived in florida for uh six eight months or so about 13 years ago <laughs> Good morning, Denise. We were just talking about Minnesota, Denise, and you guys' upcoming winter blast. <laughs> Stay indoors, Denise. <laughs> just don't even go outside. I know you guys are used to cold, but negative 50, negative 60 is a and wind chill is a whole different animal. That's one of those that's the type of weather that people have to like put their car batteries on like trickle chargers so they because they'll just die. I saw that in Fargo where people would have to hook up their cars every time. There you go, Denise. Denise working from home. That's the way to do it. Just don't even go outside. Good morning, Marine. Command post picker. My, my good friend. Command post picker. Okay, next on to the next item. Let's do this weird thing. I lowered the price on this thing because I had it for a long time. But uh, it's old. I'm glad it is. It's a bunch of cassettes. Or videotapes or something. I don't know. Okay. So again, we're gonna we're gonna compare every time just to you know, just because we can. Let me see here. The size on this. Let's see how to package it. About 13. 13. Well, that's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. Hmm. 
Yep, it's going to be a tough one. Okay. What do you want, Hobbs? Mr. Hobbs got an attitude problem this morning. All right. Mr. Hobbs wants to say hello. Oh, say hello to the peoples. Superstar. He is purring. You hear it? She got some sharp claws. We need to trim your claws. Mr. Hobbs here has some kind of allergy and we can't really figure out what it is. We thought it was chicken, but uh, it's not chicken because he's been off chicken for a while. He has a spot on his hindquarters that's bald. See it? A little scaly. I mean, it doesn't really bother him, but uh, we, we can't really figure it out. But he's healthy otherwise. He eats and plays and is annoying. And I have to take him back to the vet this week and see if they can... I think the next step is to run a thyroid test. Okay. <laughs> Miss Holly says hi. Huh? Hear that, Hobbs? Your girlfriend? You don't have the equipment to do anything. but <laughs> Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, Don. Yeah, do, could you hear him? That's why I put him up to the microphone because he was purring. Good morning, Punches Resales. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Sean said he wanted his daddy. Some of our cats always like want their mommy. Yep. Oh, thanks, D. Uh, you should. I mean, Hobbs is adorable. He's a good boy, and uh, we have his brother from the same litter. Literally, his brother, not his figurative brother, his literal brother, Gatsby. And Gatsby is a supermodel. He is a very handsome cat. No, not ringworm, Don. That's what. That's the first thing I suspected. Don was ringworm, but they've tested. They've tested for fungal, you know, all that stuff. And uh, it's not ringworm. It's not anything fungal. Yeah. They really don't know what it is. So that's why they think it's an allergy of some sort. And if it's uh, since getting getting him off of grains and chicken, after he was off grains and chicken, the food, uh, we did a fish-based food and a venison-based food, and the spot got worse. So, uh next step is maybe a thyroid thing we'll have to do a blood test probably but anyway we try we try to take care of them don't we okay i got us back to trying to find a box for this massive thing oh it's always those i need to order some i guess because i don't need them that often though but those odd shaped boxes like i need a 15 by 15 by like four i don't have any boxes like that because I rarely ship stuff that size, but uh, when you need them, you need them, you know. <laughs> yeah. I could, I mean, I could build a custom box, but uh, yeah. That takes time, and this is a cheap item. You want to you want to ship things safely, but you also want to be efficient, you know, with the time that it takes. Like, I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes building a custom box on a $10 item. Let me just polybag it. It's heavy duty. Yeah, this case is super heavy duty. I'm just going to poly bag it. These are my super big uh, poly bags. But, uh, gives me the option to cut them down if I want to, but I'm just going to wrap this one up. These big poly bags give me a lot of flexibility on packing stuff. Let me get this 
swear. Come on. I think the next thing I'm going to buy is a new scale. I've been talking about it for months and I just haven't pulled the trigger. I'm going to buy a bigger bed scale. This is four pounds, one ounce. Four pounds, one ounce. On eBay, that is ten dollars and three cents. Let's see what it is on Pirate Ship. Four pounds, one ounce. Here. This one is eligible for cubic on, well, hmm. Since it's in a poly bag, it's not technically cubic. It's still close, though. So. Oh, yeah, since I inputted the size, regardless, I mean, if I wanted to do poly like the envelope with just the two dimensions, but I did use the three dimensions because I didn't cut this down. So, so, uh, pirate ship is cheaper on this one $9.50 versus $10.03 on Amazon. So, 53 cents savings on pirate ship. We'll go ahead and print that out. Okay. okay, this may be loud. Sorry. All right. Number three. Done. I guess I need to do these trays next. Let's see what you guys got going on. 57 watching. Thank you guys. Hit that thumbs up if you get a chance. Appreciate it so much. Uh, flipping particle says their their little dog has allergies. Yeah, I uh, when I was a teenager, we had a Sheltie, like a miniature collie dog, and it had bad allergies, and it was it was miserable. Yeah, I thought about resizing one, but it was just you know, resizing the box, patient picker, just take too much time. <laughs> that's a body bag. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a really big poly bag. Well, that's awesome. Vintage Fiend got a Dymo at Office Depot for 34 bucks. That is one heck of a deal. Uh, John, Dad's Vintage Garage, do you ever look at FedEx? Uh, Smart post, yes, I do on uh, bigger items that are going far. I've, I haven't really seen any FedEx smart post that is cheaper on just regular items, but it could be. I just don't look at it. I'm just kind of trained to look at it for bigger stuff. <laughs> Kelly, the sound of tape ripping in the morning, always a good thing. Absolutely. Okay, so let's do an easy one next. We'll do this little mug here. We get some bubble wrap. <clears throat> Obviously, all this stuff you'll see in the what sold video eventually. But uh, this little mug I'm boxing up, we got for free. Free is always good. And it sold for decent money too. We were in North Carolina for a friend's wedding and we went to this little, just a mom and pop little flea market type of deal. And this was outside on a shelf and we picked it up. It was really dirty and we took it in like, oh, how much you want for this? He, uh, the guy was like, take it. <laughs> like, okay, we'll take it. 
cleaned it up, listed it, and it sold for really good money. Opening up a new package of 7x7x6 seven by seven by priority mail boxes. Since I'm opening this one up, I need to order some more. This will be my last package of them. what the rest of my day is going to hold. Grab some paper. I'm going to come down here and uh, probably won't inventory but I need to do some organizing after. The uh, inventorying we did this weekend, everything's kind of in chaos. But uh, I know what I got to do today. I got to film the haul video from yesterday, the stuff we got from yesterday. But to do that, I got to straighten things up down here. So yeah, it's one of those things. I always need to list stuff, but there's always so much other stuff to do. The whole process. Okay. Let's get this going again. I'm going to check both here pirate ship and eBay. Pirate ship is 749 and Let's see what eBay is. It's seven forty nine on Pirate Ship. I still like the classic printing page on eBay better than that new one, so I had to change over. Seven forty nine. Seven twenty seven on eBay, so twenty two cents cheaper on eBay done what can you do there was a good month or two solid there that used pirate ship for almost everything but ebay's prices are just a little bit better now it is what it is oh come on taking forever Populate the label. There it goes. Okay. See what you guys got going on. Holy smoke, sixty one watching. Oh, thanks. Thanks for popping in, John. Good, David. How are you? Thanks for popping in. Reseller man. Appreciate a lot. Just packing stuff up. I'm going to get them out the door. Oh, good morning, Will. Honda Hangouts. As normal, I'm late to the party. <laughs> they were not good, Will. They were Poor, but part of that's my fault. Uh, patient picker, Mike, you do well selling mugs. Do you always look for them? What kind of usually you look for? I have some Disney mugs posted now, not moving yet. Um, yeah, I look at, I look for them every time, and my wife does too. And it's just, uh, yeah, you look for a variety of factors, different, unusual, you know, particular stuff. I have sold a lot of Disney mugs. Some sell better than others. The three D, like the the textured Disney mugs do better than just the uh, applique ones. 
Uh, some Starbucks still does well. Uh, just a lot of different random stuff. You know, you just got to have an eye for the unusual. And I'll, I'll always buy in good condition. If it's, you know, obviously worn, it has a bunch of spoon stir marks, you know, coffee stain, even though you may be able to clean those up, you know, it'll take you 10 to 20 minutes to clean that. And it's just not worth it usually with coffee mugs. So, yeah, a lot of different factors. Yeah, feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better, Will. I still got some congestion going on, but we did go out thrifting yesterday. So, yeah. Okay, so back. Shipping. Let me see here. Get some bubble wrap for this bad boy. Lots of bubble wrap. Mugs is such a broad category. It's hard to, you know, uh, hard to know. You just got to, you know, do what we usually do on stuff in the store. If you see something interesting, just look it up. And after a while, you'll get enough experience to be like, oh, I know for sure that this will go well and that will go well. And it'd be interesting to go back throughout the whole year of my mug sales and see what has done the best but i don't i don't know how to do that actually but uh, yeah so i think ebay what ebay only keeps what like the last 90 days of sales saved or something this this item here i'm packing up sold pretty quick and it only took a couple weeks to sell Which is kind of unusual for a ceramic pottery item. Usually, the you know, pottery and ceramics take a long time. They're usually really long too. But this one sold super quick. Uh, let me see here. Where's this going? This is going to oh, this is just going down the road, going to Virginia. So not too bad. We'll just use a twelve by twelve by eight box on it since it's close. So that's one of the last inventory that we got two categories left. Well, actually three. I forgot one earlier. We got three categories left inventory. We got coats and jackets, coffee mugs, and puzzles and games left to inventory. Yeah, it's been a long road inventory and all the stuff, but definitely necessary. Definitely worth, definitely worth it. Okay, I just put my paper up, but I'm gonna have to grab my paper again. <laughs> Avalanche. talk about packing breakable items but it's worth repeating if you haven't sold breakable items you always want to pack it in a box pack it tight enough where it doesn't move so i use a combination of you know wrapping the item in bubble wrap and then packing packing paper around it until it doesn't move. Shake it and it doesn't move, and you're good to go. So, yep. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but when I have a, I mean, obviously not a stomach bug, but I, mine was just a head cold. When I have head colds, I, I get so hungry all the time. So my... 
my normal routine of eating and stuff was out the window because I was so hungry all the time. And now I'm back to the normal routine, but I am starving. I'm back to my normal internet fasting. I got about 56 minutes to go. Four pounds, three ounces. Four pounds, three ounces. This on eBay is seven dollars and fifty eight cents. So let's check pirate ship. Four pounds, three ounces. Checking pirate ship now. Three ounces. Okay, so on eBay it was seven fifty eight pirate ship seven eighty one. So there's another difference again of fifty eight, sixty eight, seventy eight, twenty three cents, twenty three cents cheaper on eBay. Well, pirate ship it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> now pirate ship is still good if you got something going cubic, so it's still worth checking. Get this one printed out, and we only have one more item after this one. Them. Yep. Right. Okay, and this uh, last time is actually on my second eBay account. Let's see what you got. Good morning, Sue Ann. Thanks, Piper John. Thanks for popping in. See you guys later. Uh, Will Honda Hangouts, do you find many items that fell off a listing and you miss getting put back up? Inventory doesn't move. Yeah, I talked about that earlier before you popped in, Will. Uh, throughout the inventory process so far, we've probably found uh, 40 or so items that were just gone, like not listed anymore. So I have 40 new things to relist, you know, and I don't know why that happened or, you know, when it happened, but it obviously happened. So another good thing about inventorying. So, yeah. Good morning, Warren, Linda, Caney Creek girl. Good morning. Thanks for popping in. Just scrolling up through here. Yeah. Okay. So one more thing on our second eBay account. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. These are going to be pretty heavy, so it'll be interesting to see on Pirate Ship if it's better than eBay. Don't know. The first thing first is to box them. These are only going to Pennsylvania, so probably not that big of a deal. Let's see how wide these are. About 12 inches. Yeah. We may have two of them. Yeah, we can marry two of these boxes. So what I'm going to do here, these, this item is too long for this box. So I'm going to marry two boxes and I'll show you guys. You know, I'm sure you've done it before, but those that haven't, I'll show you. You go ahead and get one end sealed up. And you grab a second one of them, the same size box. And you'll just sometimes it's a little bit difficult but you'll just kind of squeeze this inner one and just slide it down in there marrying the two boxes okay get close to where you want to go and i'm going to go ahead and put this item in there Ooh. Slide this further down a little bit. 
get it to exactly where you want it to go. And see how it's there. So then seal this box, the inner box. And we'll tape it as well. And that's how you, if you have an item that's just a little bit too long, you marry two boxes up and make it work. And that's it. Easy peasy. It's heavy. It'll be interesting to see. They paid for shipping, of course. But, uh, yeah. Eight pounds, four ounces. Eight pounds, four ounces. We'll have to measure this, of course, since we married two boxes. Let's see where we're at. This is 17 by 12 by 3. 17. 12 by 3. $8.74 on eBay. Let's check pirate ship. What did I say? 17 by 12 by 3. 8 pounds, 4 ounces. Pirate ship is cubic of $7.95. So this is where pirate ship still is worth checking. eBay was $8.74. Pirate ship was $7.95. So 79 cents cheaper on pirate ship. Sold. So out of those six items, I think four were eBay and two were pirate ship. Yeah. So not bad, not bad. And that's my shipping for the day. Let's see if you guys have any last minute questions here. I've been going for quite a while. Hour and twelve minutes. Let's see here. Ooh, stomach is growling. <laughs> uh I'm scrolling back up here a little bit. Okay, um, Sue Ann, uh, I'm so looking to be in my house in May and having my inventory organized. I've known I've had stuff fall off, but right now it'd be such a huge pain to figure out. Yeah, and this inventory has taken way longer than I thought it would. Um, uh, in the long run, though, it's going to be worth it, you know, because uh, yeah, I found like I said, 40 items or so, and that's basically you know you take even if you say only a twenty dollars average which it's probably more than that that's 800 bucks that just has fell off and can't sell it's it's unproductive inventory so yeah absolutely franken box you marry those boxes up <laughs> linda still likes the sound of tape ripping in the morning too Oh, sorry, Glenn. I didn't even pay. I wasn't even paying attention. It's not a huge deal. But, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Kelly. No sales. It, ha it has been slow. We talked about that a little bit, but uh, yeah, just keep on listing. You know, that's all you can do. Last, I looked at my numbers from last year in January was not that great last year either, either, but February really picked up for me. I don't know why, because February is a short month as well. So, but we'll see if that pattern repeats. When I had my stores, I could pretty much predict within about 10% what sales would be after, after doing it for about three or four years, I could predict where sales were going to be. I could forecast just from experience. A Sue Ann had a handful on Saturday, but eBay was nearly dead for me on Sunday. I had one first thing this morning and then not another till later at the end of the day. Yeah. Like I said, I think it was Thursday or Friday. I had zero sales. Zero. And that hardly ever happens. 
Uh, Kelly got a bid on some boots she listed. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, thanks, Karen. I appreciate it. Yeah, just try not to go outside. Whoops, my hat and go hit the microphone. Anyway, uh, if you guys will, hit the thumbs up on the way, down, way out. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to everyone for participating. Thanks for watching me ship stuff. The last few chats, I haven't even done shipping. I've just kind of sat here and chatted, so I was glad to get back to the normal routine. But uh, thanks, guys. I will be filming our haul video uh, later today, and that will be up tonight for patrons, and uh, I'll make it public tomorrow morning like usual. So uh, hope you guys check that out, and we will see you guys on Wednesday for another live video. Oh, Flipping Particles has a show at noon, so go over there and check them out. <laughs> Got that at the last second there. Thanks, guys. We will see you uh, Wednesday.